What's up, punks? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be rebuilding the Los Angeles Lakers in NBA 2K23. This team is god awful, as you could see. I don't know how I'm going to fix this team. I don't even know if I can. So let's just get into it. It's worth a try. I'm just going to start off by putting this as a nine man rotation. I'm not going to have a whole lot of players that go. Well, I'm not going to have a in depth team down to the bench. So let's just go do stuff, I guess. First, what I want to do is try to trade for Drew Holiday because he's a going to be a massive upgrade at the point guard spot, and I'll see what picks I could give Milwaukee for this. And I don't have that much. I can only go to 2027. I know they have a decent 2029 pick, but 2K doesn't want to go that far because they know 2029 is just a class of elementary schoolers right now. So let's just look for other players right now, and let's just get rid of Russell Westbrook. I don't hate him as a player, it's just I don't want him on my team. <laughs> Gordon Hayward, you're the player. You're going to be the person that comes in and just gets some buckets for us. You're going to shoot, you're just going to be a good player, and you're an 80 overall, so you're good. Let's maybe get Pat Bev off this team. Don't know exactly if I want him or not. I don't know, I can... His, the position that he plays is shooting guard and point guard. He doesn't really do either of those positions well. He just goes out there, hustles and defends, and talks. So, he just barks like a dog out there, but he doesn't do anything else that good. But, nothing. No hate against Pat Bev. He's a good player. He'll lock me up any day. So, surprised he's not locked up in prison himself. So, Thomas Bryant, I don't know, I don't know if I want you or Mason Plumlee as our backup center. I don't really like either of you, but if I had to choose, I'd choose Thomas Bryant. But I don't just don't. I just despise um, Mason Plumley. He's just not good, man. But I traded for John Wall. Goodbye, Thomas Bryant. Welcome, John Wall. He's going to actually be a good point guard for our team. So yeah, let's trade Pet Bev. I see. I saw Alex Caruso. He'll be actually be a quality player for our team. We're going to need one of those who could defend and maybe do everything else and the thing that Pet Bev can't do. So yeah, I traded for there's Emmanuel quickly. Maybe I could get a better play for him because it seems like I have a lot of guards on this team. So yeah, um, don't know exactly who I want. I don't have any certain players in mind. So I'll go back to him and I'll just look around, see who I could trade for. Cole Anthony. I know it's another guard, but yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm a little tired here. That's completely my bad. I'm just tired. Let's see what LeBron is as a point guard. I uh, He could play any position with ease. He's a master of all doing everything, basically. I might just put him at the point guard for the entire season. That might be what I go to. So I'm going to put his secondary position at point guard so we could basically just play that if I really need him to. And I'm probably going to give him majority of the minutes so we can drop another 30 points per game. So, yeah. Maybe get a triple-double, but yeah, so that's what I want. I want him to get more than 40 minutes per game. If not, then it's whatever. He's still going to dominate because this team is absolute garbage. So, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to actually get this team to be good. So, I'm just going to make random trades, and then I'll start simulating soon. So, I just want to get Pat Bev all this team. I see Brooke Lopez. I'll s I'm definitely going to stop at the trade deadline just to see what I could do. I don't have picks, and I don't feel like trading for him, so that's a quick end of that. So, let's see what I can do for Austin Reeves. Can I get a good player for him? Max Struss. A guy who could shoot. Good, that's what I want. LeBron, you're going to do everything. Everyone else, shoot. Kendrick Nunn, let's see what we can get for you. Um, there's um, what was it? JaVale McGee, I saw him, and he might be a good backup center, but we already have one of those in Mason Plumley. I'm definitely trading him when I can. There's Joe Ingles, another shooter. Glad to welcome him to the team. So, Troy Brown, let's see what you can, we can get for you. There's Picks, and there's Austin Reeves. Look, another shooter. Let's get him. I want everyone around LeBron to be able to shoot. So, and I want Patrick Beverly off this team. So, you know, let's just start simulating. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, this team is probably going to be god awful. I do not want to trade Emmanuel quickly. Let's just stop any CPU trades. That, just stop any CPU trades. I don't want them. And it looks like we're okay at this season. We're five and well, never mind. We're not doing that good. Um. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of reds and L's on this calendar right now. 
But yeah, so at least the key team chemistry and fan interest is decent. That's all that matters in 2K right now. So yeah, this team is going to be awful. Surprised if they win a championship. But if this video is somehow up, they have won a championship. If, the, if this video is up, and I promise I'm not cheating, I'm not even going to edit this video. I'm just going to put the slap the outro on, and that's really all. So, yeah, so this, the lineup is okay. It's below average. LeBron's going to have to step up his game, go to prime Miami LeBron, and just start carrying. Except when he doesn't have Dwayne Wade. Um, maybe they need to unretire him and Chris Bosh. Need to just retire, join the Lakers. Get that, um, get that squad back up and running, and just win some championships because that's what they need right now. Dwayne Wade is probably missing getting championships. He's just sitting around with uh, whatever, whatever his kids' names are, and it looks like we're just having a, um, you know, even season right now. We even not a positive or a negative season. It's just average. But now we're probably gonna end up with more losing games than winning. So. Yeah, I'm definitely going to stop at the trade deadline. I might redo this entire team. I might trade LeBron, might trade Anthony Davis, might fire the coach of Darvin Ham, whatever his name is. So it's getting up on the trade deadline. We are like 20, 25 and 30, 26 and 30. We're, we're the 12th seed. We suck. So, you know what? I'm going to trade Anthony Davis. I like this trade right there. I get Drew Holiday. I wanted him from the start. So Jalen Brown... You know, I don't know. I'm just gonna trade him, trade uh, for Drew Holiday and Bobby Portis. I don't care anymore. I'll do anything for a championship. Welcome to the team, Drew Holiday and Bobby Portis. This is probably a good upgrade because we have a good point guard now who could play defense and uh, you know, score too, and he could play make. I'll see what I can get for Gordon Hayward, even though he's given. There's Chris Middleton. I might do that. That might be a good option for me. There's Clint Capella. I might actually need a center right now, but I have Bobby Portis. So I'm just going to trade for Chris Middleton. I'll see what I could do. I don't want to give up uh, John Wall. So I, might, I could give up Joe Ingles. I don't want to give up Ola, but I might just do it. I'll, I did it. So um, Chris Middleton is now starting a, a power forward. I don't really I'd rather have a LeBron start at the power forward rather than Chris Middleton. But it's whatever. Do whatever you want with the starting lineup. Now let's get Pet Bev out of here. I'll, I'll be super surprised if this team turns this around and sh wins a championship. Welcome Gary Trent Jr. to this team. He'll do his job better than Patrick Beverly. He'll go out there and actually score and play some good defense. And welcome Reggie Jackson. I finally got Mason Plumlee on this, off this team because I got a better center in Brooke Lopez. And because I don't want Mason Plumlee anyways. So... LeBron's, I'm giving all my minutes to LeBron. Let's see if I could do one more trade really quick because I do have a lot. I did one time I get Reggie Jackson. I probably traded for him when I wasn't really paying attention. But yeah, so let's see what I could do. Um, Otto Porter, welcome to the team. You're just going to be another guy who could shoot. So yeah, I'm, I want to give LeBron all the minutes so he could actually carry this team, put him in a back peg, and, you know, just dominate the entire NBA. So let's get to simulating. We win the first game back against the Bucks, which is quite something. We got we took their one of their star players. Actually, we took two of their star players in their starting center, so they might go downhill from here. But they do have Anthony Davis. So if we start winning games and we win the championship, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Like, extremely surprised. And you are not going to see me doing any force wins in this entire rebuild. So all of this is just my skill. I'm just the best. Uh, I, I just do the best rebuilds in the entire uh, to the in the entire YouTube community. Even though I have four subscribers, I wouldn't even call myself a YouTuber. I just call myself a person who just uploads stuff on YouTube. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm going at here. I'm speaking stupid right now. So Luka wins MVP, he's going crazy, Keegan Murray wins Rookie of the Year, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player of the Year, it looks weird in a Bucks jersey, but you do you man. Billy Donovan wins Coach of the Year, Bulls, I guess they're they're going crazy out there, LeBron averaged 25, 9, and 7, so they're doing really good, and we were in the play-in, so 
We were the ninth seed. We beat Phoenix in the play-in, and we beat Sacramento. So, if we max out our luck and win this championship, I'm going to be so happy in my skills and with my skills of rebuilding. King of the fourth quarter, I'm coming after you, man. Uh, I'm, I'm better than you rebuilding. Uh, as you could see, this team is garbage. So let's get into simulating. I should probably stop talking to one of the be, one of the best re, 2K YouTubers out there. Not, best rebuilding 2K YouTubers out there. We we beat Memphis in seven, and Minnesota we beat them in six. Oh my gosh, we're in the conference finals. We were the eighth seed. When we were the ninth seed. Let's put LeBron. Let's give LeBron all the minutes. Probably shouldn't even be running a nine-man rotation right now, but it's whatever. Let's give LeBron 48 minutes per game. And yeah, let's just see how it goes. Not going to lie, I don't know how I'm feeling about this team. They're definitely going to lose to uh, Zion because no, who's going to guard Zion? Definitely not Chris Middleton. But we are up 2-1 right now. 3-1. We beat them in 5 LeBron averaged 42, 9.5, and, and 8 and a, eight and a half assists with 2.5 steals and 1.5 blocks, shooting 50% from 3. This man truly carried, and we were facing the Cavs. Look at that. So, yeah, I'm going to put LeBron at the point guard, I think. That's my new idea. Just to clamp up Darius Garland. How is Darius Garland going to guard LeBron? Probably can't, so I'm going to change this maybe to an 8-man rotation. That's what I'm thinking. Let's just move everybody to a uh, over position. Let LeBron get all the minutes. Let him run the point guard. Let him carry. And, yeah, so let's get into it. This lineup is looking better now with LeBron at the point, so let's see what we could do. We win game one. They win game two. We win game three. Game four. And game five. We beat the Cavs in five, and we have won the championship. Um, you guys see that I clearly didn't force win any of the games, so this is all this is all legit. This is legitness. So um so thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.